see how that develops. And volunteers have been carrying out a major project to clear an overgrown cemetery in the Black Country. All Saints Graveyard in Sedgley in Dudley has long been covered in brambles, making it inaccessible. Some graves are now visible for the first time in many years, retelling some long lost stories. Amy Cole has been to have a look. Unkempt and unloved, it's community spirit that's now starting to give All Saints Cemetery a new lease of life. Michael Milton volunteers his time to help clear the thick undergrowth and brambles. He does it out of love for his brother Brian, who died aged 13 and is buried here. Michael was just 10 at the time. The brothers shared a room. Because it's so overgrown, he can't even lay a wreath. And last year I couldn't get to him. This year I couldn't even get to him. So, so I'll, get, I'll, 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 have to get, I'll have to get a wreath. And actually, I'll have to sling it the best way I can. It's actually heartbreaking the way it is. Because you, you, I've, just, I've just cleared that one from here and that one there. And so that's what I've done three there, as you can see. And that's just, that's, you can see what you've got from here. Over the past year or so, the volunteers have worked tirelessly on what is a mammoth task. There's still so much to do. Gwen Johnson and her daughter Ruth are so grateful as they've been able to visit Ruth's great-great-uncle's grave, which they didn't even know existed. It's really touching, actually. It's, it's lovely. It's really exciting because I'm heavily into family history anyway. So to know, and I didn't even know this one was here, to find that I could actually get to this one is lovely. It's touching too that every time they visit, this little robin appears. There are 4,000 graves here and 19 of them are dedicated to soldiers who served in the First and Second World Wars. John Nichols helps to maintain them. I inspect them at least every six months and we clean them just with water and a scrubbing brush so I can keep them looking nice as anybody who wants to visit the war graves they don't see them looking shabby. These men gave their lives for us, so and they've got to re be remembered forever. And it's that strong desire to remember the dead that got Paul Rhodes thinking. He was the one who helped organise and propel the huge clear-up operation and is totally committed to the cause. It's ongoing. It could take probably five or six years, seven years, ten years to clear all this. Um, but we couldn't, I couldn't let this carry on. Are you determined to stick with it? Yes, oh yes, well, we are going to clear this graveyard. This tiny grave is in memory of Gladys, who died when she was just four and a half months old, back in 1924. What's interesting is that there are a few children's graves dotted around. And you can see that as the years progress and as healthcare gets better, the NHS kicks in in the 60s, there's the creation of antibiotics, there are fewer infant deaths. The Friends of All Saints Sedgley Graveyard are determined to do all they can to restore it and make it a place that's accessible and peaceful. Amy Cole, BBC Midlands Today, Sedgley. Some fascinating stories being covered there. All right, let's move on to sport. Dan has joined me. The